growing up, I always felt like I, I didn't have a voice, and and I felt like the community that I grew up in um, was very underserved and, and looked over quite a bit. And when I was about 12 or 13, uh, I remember I failed the eighth grade, and I saw the the look on my parents' face, and um, after everything they'd done for me, and after all the sacrifices they they'd made to to try and give me a better life, um, I made a promise to myself that I would be someone that they would be proud of, and that not only would I fight to have a voice, but I would fight to give others a voice. My name is Rudy Valdez, and I'm the director of The Sentence, which is playing in the U.S. documentary competition at the 2018 Sundance Film Festival. My sister was sentenced to 15 years for a first-time nonviolent offense six years after the offense happened. This didn't start as a documentary. My first response was going home as much as I could to try and capture life events of the girls so that one day my sister could watch them and, and feel like she has some part of their lives or is experiencing some of these things with them. I was home one time filming Autumn getting ready for her first dance recital, a dance recital that I remember my sister being so excited to go and, and watch her perform in, and um, Cindy called. I love you so much. You have fun, okay? Okay. And the second that unfolded in front of me, I knew that I had a chance to tell an intimate story about the real ramifications of sending away a mother of sending away a sister, of sending away a daughter, of sending away a contributing member of society. And this is not a film about guilt or innocence. It's about sentencing and being smart on sentencing, the effects that it has on the family and the community. You know, my entire life has been about not letting things tear me down. If something bad happens, it's only bad if I let it be bad. I have to make something good out of it. Cindy's story and my family's story is simply a microcosm in this large war on drugs and this large problem of mass incarceration. I never thought something like this would happen to my family. I also never thought that this little documentary, this, this story that I'm telling would reach such a large platform. I'm unbelievably honored that Sundance would take this story and, and allow me to share it with the world.